Imagine standing on the edge of the solar system, staring into the void, when a visitor from another star streaks into view. Not a comet born in our cosmic neighborhood, but an interstellar traveler carrying secrets from a distant sun. This is the story of 3i Atlas, the third known interstellar object to grace our skies, and right now, it's playing a high-stakes game of cosmic hide-and-seek. On October 21st, 2025, as it approached its closest point to the sun, Earth's telescopes went blind, swallowed by the sun's glare. For six weeks, we can't see it. No light, no spectra, no data. Just silence. And in that silence, questions burn brighter than ever. Why does this object's chemistry defy everything we know about comets? Could its path, eerily aligned with our solar system's plane, hint at something more than chance? And what will we find when it emerges from the sun's shadow in December? Welcome to a journey through the science, the mystery, and the tantalizing possibilities of 3i slash Atlas. Buckle up and let's dive into the unknown. If this hooks you, hit that like button and subscribe for more cosmic adventures. Let's start with what makes 3i slash Atlas so extraordinary. Discovered in June 2025 by the Vera Rubin Observatory, this object didn't just wander in, it announced itself with a chemical signature that broke the mold. The James Webb Space Telescope, peering through the infrared, clocked a carbon dioxide to water vapor ratio of 8 to 1, a number so wild it's six standard deviations off the norm for comets. Most comets are water-heavy, gushing ice as they heat up near the sun. Not this one, it's pumping out carbon dioxide like it's auditioning for a different cosmic playbook, with traces of carbon monoxide and carbonyl sulfide thrown in for good measure. Japan's KK Observatory added to the intrigue, spotting bright nickel lines in the coma, the glowing cloud of gas and dust, while iron was barely a whisper. The coma itself is a smooth, teardrop-shaped envelope stretching 6,000 kilometers, with gas and dust streaming sunward in a tight, asymmetric plume. No chaotic jets, no ragged edges. The nucleus, hidden from direct view, is estimated at 5 to 6 kilometers wide, spinning slowly, almost imperceptibly, with no dramatic brightness swings. This isn't just a rock, it's a chemical enigma, wrapped in a dynamical puzzle, hurtling through our solar system on a path that's raising eyebrows across the astronomical community. Why does this matter so much? Interstellar objects are cosmic unicorns. In the entire history of human observation, we've only confirmed three. The first, Aumuamua, in 2017 zipped through at a steep angle barely grazing our planetary neighborhood. The second, 2i slash Borisov, in 2019 swung in high above the ecliptic, the plane where our planets orbit. But 3i slash Atlas? It's different. Its trajectory is aligned just 5 degrees off the ecliptic, a 1 in 20,000 chance for an interstellar visitor. It's like a guest walking straight through the front door of our solar system threading the needle between Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. This alignment isn't impossible, but it's improbable enough to make astronomers double-check their math. Each planetary close pass, Mars in October, Venus in November, Jupiter next spring, is a chance for gravity to nudge its path, offering clues about its behavior. Every data point we've collected, from Rubin's pre-discovery images to Mars Express flybys, sets a baseline. When 3i slash Atlas reappears in December, any deviation from its predicted orbit, even by a fraction of an arc second, could signal something extraordinary. A natural comet behaving oddly, or something else entirely. The stakes are high, and the blackout only sharpens the suspense. If you're as intrigued as I am, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Let's talk about the blackout itself, because it's not just a plot twist. It's physics at its most unforgiving. On October 21, 2025, 3i Atlas entered superior conjunction, meaning it passed behind the sun from Earth's perspective. The sun's disk, a million miles wide, swallowed our line of sight. At closest approach, the separation between 3i Atlas and the sun was less than one degree, about two solar diameters. The object's faint signal drowned in the solar corona, a plasma sea hotter than a million degrees. This isn't a matter of better telescopes or clever software. 
the glare zone stretching 965,000 miles is an impenetrable wall of light and magnetic chaos. Optical, infrared, radar, nothing cuts through. Even the James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's sharpest eye in the infrared, hits a brick wall. By October 29th, when 3i slash Atlas reaches perihelion, its closest point to the sun, it's at its most active, spewing gas and dust under maximum solar heat. This is when comets reveal their secrets, but for us, it's happening in the dark. For six weeks until mid-December, we're blind. Any change in the object's behavior, outgassing, fragmentation, or an unexpected course correction happens out of sight. It's like the universe planned the perfect cliffhanger. Before the blackout, astronomers race to gather every scrap of data possible. The James Webb Space Telescope, under Dr. Melissa Jang's leadership, caught 3i slash Atlas on September 18th, delivering a bombshell, a carbon dioxide to water vapor ratio of 8 to 1. For context, water dominates in typical comets, often by a factor of 100 or more. This ratio is an outlier by six standard deviations, a statistical scream that something's off. The spectrum also showed moderate carbon monoxide and traces of carbonyl sulfide with isotope ratios that match our suns but a chemistry that doesn't fit any known comet. NASA nearly embargoed this data, fearing it might be too wild to release without more context. But Jang's team pushed for transparency, knowing the blackout would cut off further observations. Meanwhile, Japan's KK Observatory mapped the coma in August and September, finding bright nickel lines but faint iron. Another anomaly, the coma's asymmetry streaming sunward in a narrow plume hinted at a directed outgassing process. Peer reviewers double-checked for errors, but the data held firm. No mirage, no glitch, just a comet that doesn't play by our rules. The Mars flybys in early October added more pieces to the puzzle. ESA's Mars Express and Trace Gas Orbiter, guided by Nicholas Thomas's team, caught 3i slash Atlas at 0.19 astronomical units from Mars. The images showed a faint but active coma with outgassing pointed sunward consistent right up to the blackout. Mass loss was clocked at 150 kilograms per second with water production lagging at just 40 kilograms per second. Another sign of this object's bizarre chemistry. Hubble's July images confirmed the coma's smooth teardrop shape, a stark contrast to the jagged, jet-filled comas of most comets. The nucleus stayed hidden, but light curve analysis analysis from Rubin's June 21st images pegged it at 5 to 6 kilometers across, spinning slowly, almost imperceptibly. No erratic brightness changes, just a steady, quiet glow. These are the fingerprints we'll compare against in December. If the orbit, chemistry, or coma shape shifts, it could rewrite our understanding of interstellar visitors. Let's put this in perspective. Three interstellar objects in human history is a tiny sample. Umamua and Borisov were oddballs in their own right. Umamua with its cigar-like shape, and Borisov with its classic comet tail. But 3i slash Atlas feels like it's playing a different game. Its low inclination path hugging the ecliptic is statistically rare, but astronomers caution against overinterpreting a sample size of three. Small data sets breed illusions. If the next dozen interstellar objects show similar alignments, we'll have a pattern worth investigating. For now, it's a curiosity, not a conspiracy. The trajectory itself is a goldmine of opportunity. Close passes by Mars, Venus, and Jupiter mean gravitational tugs that could reveal subtle changes. Pre-blackout astrometry, position measurements from Rubin, Hubble, and Mars orbiters sets a precise baseline. A deviation of even 10 milliarc seconds, think a coin's width seen from 1,000 kilometers away, could signal something unexpected. Natural comets can shift due to outgassing, but 3i slash Atlas's chemistry and stability suggest any change would need a stronger explanation. The blackout hides the critical moment, but December's data will be the judge. The timing of this blackout couldn't be worse, or more intriguing. October 2025 was already buzzing with solar activity. Three coronal mass ejections erupted from the sun, triggering auroras as far south as Kansas and France. Online speculation ran wild. Some claimed the solar surges caused earthquakes. Others hinted at a cosmic cover-up. But the science is clear. The blackout is purely geometric, a consequence of celestial alignment, not solar flares or instrument failure. Still, the coincidence 
fueled chatter. Amateur astronomer Isabel Ruiz went viral with a post claiming 17 green comets were visible at once, alongside stunning aurora photos. The real count, four bright green comets, including three I slash Atlas, was less dramatic but still notable. The Vera Rubin Observatory's nightly sweeps have made faint comets easier to spot, creating a detection boom. Ruiz also flagged a faint glow trailing 3i slash Atlas, sparking rumors of a fragment or companion. Professionals urged calm, noting that without precise astrometry, it's just noise. The Minor Planet Center and JPL are holding firm, waiting for December's clear view to settle the debate. Let's address a common misconception. Interstellar objects aren't automatically alien probes. The idea, popularized by Oumuamua's odd shape, gets traction because it's exciting, but science demands evidence. 3i slash Atlas's chemistry and path are strange, but natural processes can produce outliers. Comets are messy, jets of gas can act like tiny rockets, nudging orbits unpredictably. The carbon dioxide dominance could stem from a unique formation environment, perhaps a planet-forming disk around another star. The nickel anomaly might reflect a surface rich in heavy metals forged in a distant supernova. These are hypotheses, not headlines. The blackout fuels speculation because it's human nature to fill gaps with stories, but the data, hard, verifiable numbers, will tell the real story when the sky clears. The Vera Rubin Observatory is changing the game. Before its nightly sweeps, interstellar objects were once in a decade finds. Now we expect dozens per year. Each new visitor, logged with precise position, color, and motion, builds a catalog that turns anomalies into patterns. 3 i slash Atlas's odd chemistry and ecliptic hugging path won't stay unique for long. With enough data will know if carbon dioxide heavy comets or low inclination orbits are rare or routine. Rubin's early detections give space-based assets like JWST and Mars orbiters more time to study these objects before and after solar heating. What was once a mad scramble is becoming a coordinated system. The mystery of 3i slash Atlas is a preview of a new era where interstellar visitors go from headlines to data sets. As we wait for December, the stakes feel cosmic. When 3i slash Atlas emerges, its orbit will either match predictions or demand new theories. A natural comet, however strange, ties up the story neatly. A deviation could spark a scientific revolution, or at least a furious debate. The blackout reminds us how much we've learned and how much we still don't know. From the carbon dioxide spike to the nickel glow, 3i slash Atlas is a puzzle carved from starlight, challenging our models and our imaginations. So, what do you think it is? A comet with a quirky past or something more? Share your theories in the comments comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates as we chase the truth across the stars.